As I was stopped on security, I was taken to a different line, I was checked, everything, stripped. Crazy, I've wasted like 5 minutes or 10 minutes right there, because apparently the dog sniffed something out of me. They're like, can you come over this side? And then, um, uh, bring your ID, you give them your ID. Then they're like, okay, just wait. Then they scan it, they take a picture of you quickly. Like that happens within the first 30 seconds after they pull you in. Then, and I was, I thought I was actually the one who's last to come in because she went like 15 minutes earlier than me and I'm already here. So I don't know. Something just went terribly wrong with their check-in. I don't know. And I, oh shoot, and I even have the car keys. So if they can't make it, they can't really drive back. Oh my god, I'm seeing the end of the queue and I can't see them. And these guys, these guys are already removing this. So I don't know if the gate is closed or what. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. It's not available. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> this is very terrible. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away. And welcome back to our. So, guys, welcome back to. And welcome back to our channel. This is Nick from L and Nick, and L and Elena are taking a bath so actually elena is taking a bath if it's your first time please remember this is a travel vlog it's going to be very entertaining we are going into a state that we've never visited in the last two years we are headed to washington state the washington state in seattle so sit back relax and enjoy this journey it's time to travel again we are still packing you can see the bag is here so i'm Parking, weighing. This is the best time to go to Washington before it gets very, very cold. So currently it's uh, September, going into October. So this is the last piece that you're supposed to visit Washington before it starts getting super cold and super rainy and very boring and gloomy and all those things that people talk about Washington. So guys, stick around and enjoy this video. Remember to like, share, subscribe and please, please, please thank you so much for watching our travel series to California. If you've not watched that video or that series of videos, please head back just go to our vlog we went to california and we've also gone to sedona which is a town here in arizona so please if you like travel vlogs this is another one this one right now and there are two other series of travel vlogs that we've done this year 2024 already packing come with me so it's currently two minutes to nine and we're supposed to be out of this place at nine so that we make it because our flight is at 11 something. This is what we do before we go to the airport. We are eating, real eating. <laughs> it's currently 9.18 a.m. We and we are, supposed to, we are supposed to be out of this place by now. A very big surprise is coming up in Washington, not here, in Washington. So just keep on watching and you'll see where we are going next. This is our, our usual setup. I'm usually in the car. Elena is usually in the car. Elle is usually running around still. And she's going back to the house just to get a banana for Elena, which is good. But our time is running out. We It's 9.38 eight we are supposed to live here at nine that was the plan that we made at night so these plans are usually the best plans when the day comes the reality usually is different maybe someone is sneezing and they were not sneezing the previous day someone wants to add an extra shoe and you didn't really plan for it and you can't find the other shoe now Ooh. hi yeah. guys always running the last minute hey guys so we are on the highway now um, there's lighter traffic than usual so that's great news when you travel on a Saturday um, and we, are, we should be there in how long babe? in 18 minutes 18 minutes to go and we're getting there with uh, 12 minutes to spare for check-in I've already checked us in and checked in the bags so when we get there we just drop them off so that should be enough time to get the bags in. Did you say 12 minutes? Yeah. Just 12 minutes? Yes. I don't think that's enough time. That's that's enough time. Because we are dropping in, do, dropping everything. You drop us and then you, you go do I the go thing. Get, get confused looking for parking lots. 
you won't get confused we've already done that that before like you already know the the way okay yeah because guys we, we are leaving uh we are driving ourselves to the airport then we leave our car there at the airport then when we come back it will be there waiting for us so that's what we normally do so that it's not too stressful waiting for an uber or somebody dropping you and all of that so it's also because we have a, a seat a car seat yeah and the car seat moving it from an uber removing it when you get to your destination they'll you'll be wasting a lot of time and then you have to pay extra because you're wasting that guy's time yes yeah so it takes it it's quite hectic when you're traveling with a kid you want to do it as smoothly as possible elena is excited to be going on a plane we are flying um it's going it's not her first time flying but i feel like this is her first time flying understanding what's going on <laughs> so we, I'm, I'm actually very curious to see how she's gonna do on the plane she's already very excited because i've been trying to explain to her like oh we're gonna go get in a big plane and go up 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 and all of that so she's she's asking me go up 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 yeah so <laughs> it's gonna be definitely exciting so stay tuned for that and we are definitely looking forward to seeing all the people you know we are going for the people guys you know this we love family we love friends uh, and these are people that we don't get to see often now that we live in Arizona but when we do see them it's always a good time also looking forward to cooler weather way cooler weather way cooler weather right now in um, in Arizona we are, we've started to cool down actually guys we are now below hundreds but we are in the 90s most of the days so like right now we are at 84 degrees yeah 84 degrees at 9 something a.m but it's probably going to be a high of 97 or something like that i haven't checked but that's just what i'm imagining it will be in the in seattle is um, high 60s and low 70s so that's like almost 40 degree difference so we're hoping it's not going to be too cold for elena also elena came down with a, a cold and and nico too nico is following her me i'm the og you know the virus they see me they go like this like this you know so <laughs> look at it <laughs> let me tell you every time elena comes down with a call l follows swiftly so we are hoping that it's not going to get worse now that we are going to cooler weather we've just been nursing her and she seemed to be okay but this morning she's really coughing so i'm not sure what's going on so stay tuned guys we'll be there for a whole week so you know you know there's plenty of content coming come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know So guys right now we've already put our bags to the right place so we checked in our bags and we made sure that the bags are up to go to the plane itself so right now i'm going to look for a particular parking lot called the west economy parking lot because here you have to park not very far from the airport but again it's around nine dollars from what we saw online i hope it's not changed because i don't know how often they update their prices i'm very zoomed in oh oh man i was very zoomed in guys i couldn't really check the camera but so guys i just parked and this is how the parking lot looks like and i think i parked so far away terminal 3 and 4 phoenix train i think i can take the train i just hope i'm not lost but there's more parking space up here I'm a little lost. Aki, me, I don't know. I go get, get confused looking for parking lot. When it comes to these places, I thought I'm going to the Phoenix train. But apparently I just came up to a parking lot. So I'm wondering what's wrong with that direction that told me go up. And I can see the train is all the way over there. 
that's the way so anyway that's terminal 3 so we are walking to that building and that's where Elle and Elena are funny thing I didn't see this ramp I was looking for this ramp it's weird that the ramp was right there because I could have just oh that's that was written employee only so I'm not sure that entry was only for employees and you can see I'm not an employee West economy stairwell hi so anyway let me go down because it's very it's very very hot and you can see it's a it's quite a distance that parking lot I parked all the way over there Ooh, there's a plane taking off the whole of this area the parking lot is full they are charging us $16 a day it's the Phoenix train that I should have boarded but I don't know how long it takes just to come around $16 a day for West economy it said $9 but when you make it here it says now $16 sometimes they don't really update they are costing when you come here that's when you realize oh it's uh, 16 not $9 I'm going to terminal 3 walkway this is a terminal 3 walkway terminal 3 is over there so I'll go up the elevator then across some hallway then down into the security check-in then I get checked in um, I get surged blah 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 our boarding time is 10 50 right now it's 10 19 oh so I have 30 minutes so going to terminal 3 so the good thing about airports is there's a very good signage you really can't get lost so I'll go to general boarding because that's my side then we look for get F beyond this I'm not supposed to be recording so I will shut my camera from here see you on the other side guys drama 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 so I think that's everything I think I have everything guys I was stopped on security I was taken to a different line I was checked everything stripped crazy I've wasted like five minutes or ten minutes right there because apparently the dog sniffed something out of me so I'm very very confused what that was but <laughs> such a waste of time sometimes you wonder what what the problem is you know so I had I had to go through so this is what they, they did the moment I just came through they pulled me one of the security guards just pulled me to the side and uh, told me um, the dog sniffed me I don't know acted weird so they had to check my bags so I was taken in a different so they don't even tell you anything they're like can you come over this side and then um, uh, bring your ID you give them your ID then they're like okay just wait then they scan it they take a picture of you quickly like that happens within the first 30 seconds after they pull you in then the next thing is um, do you have anything in your pockets remove them then they check you they tell you to lift your hands up they scan you then after that they took my bags they're not talking to you they're not giving you details they're like I don't know what what the problem was so that officer was just like I don't know what the problem was and ended up um, I ended up just standing there he took my bags checked them then put them on the other side didn't do anything so for like a minute I'm just waiting I don't know what's going on and they ask you do you have any other passengers you're flying with then I say yes how many to then they get that information they feed and see who is supposed to sit next to you it's crazy so they scanned it for I think drugs narcotics and there was no result so there was nothing so that's my side I'm going all the way to F9 so right now I'm at F4 they tell you they checked everything nothing showed up and then they just said okay you can go like <laughs> so weird because right now people are boarding and I'm not yet on my gate my gate is F9 boarding started 10 minutes ago which is not good so I need to hurry up and L is not picking my calls it's just going on to voicemail the whole time I honestly don't know why when you need someone their call is always going to either voicemail or busy 
So right now I need to call Ella and tell her what's going on, but I can't find her. Anywho, I'm on F8. People are still boarding, so I think I'm still good, but I'm guessing Ella and Elena are already in there. But now I don't know because she's not picking my calls. Which group is this? Six. Oh, now seven. But I'm guessing Elle and Elena went in because when you have a baby, you are allowed to go in fast. I am sweating. All the seats around you guys are currently So, eight for Seattle, you're up on the board. That does Oh, good. That's us. Thank you. Like I said, I think Elle and Elena already bought it so, because she has a baby. So, a little queue over here to get into the plane, then we get in. This is the situation. Elle and Elena have not made it to the plane. Apparently, they were delayed by some check. I don't know what that check is, but because I think she had drinks for the baby, so um, their seats are empty. They're supposed to be seated there, but I'm praying and hoping that they board because I was almost the last person to board. Almost the last group of men. You can see people are still people are still boarding, so I'm just hoping that they board in time because one thing about these airlines they don't waste time when it's time to close the gate they don't care whether you are in a hurry whether you are, your ticket is expensive they leave you so I'm just hoping they make it I think I've uh, spared one um, overhead um, baggage area for them just in case I can put my bag down but I just put a bag my bag my handheld bag just in case they come in and they're not able to find a space yeah so that's the update so it seems like each of us had an issue i had an issue with security because they thought i had some something that the dog smelled i think maybe drugs or something not going to say but they didn't find anything because i expected them not to find anything anyway because i have nothing on me at least i think that dog is just hungry and i smell like food so um, this plane is a big, big, big plane. Look. So this is economy basic, which is basically we like it here at the back where there's no a lot of noise from the from the main engine. We don't sit next. I don't like sitting next to the wing. You can see the wing is all the way over there. And I just hope they make it because L had a lot of baggage. And I was, I thought I was actually the one who's last to come in because she went like 15 minutes earlier than me, and I'm already here. So I don't know. Something just went terribly wrong with their check-in. I don't know. Plus, I tried calling her, and I couldn't get hold of her. So that's another problem. Yeah. So these things happen, and I hope I'm not. They're not going to close the gates. I just hope they make it here in time, honestly, because I can't see them. Yeah, so let's wait and see. Let's fingers crossed because why would I go for this vacation and I oh shoot and I even have the car keys. So if they can't make it, they can't really drive back. And I'll have a lot of baggage when I get to Washington, so I need them. There's an oh my god. Oh my god. Let me, call, let me call Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. It's not available. Every time that happens, it just kills me because I don't understand why. She has this, if she has an earplug, she can just plug in the phone. The phone can be in the bag, but she can pick the call. Oh my god, I'm seeing the end of the queue and I can't see them. And these guys, these guys are already removing this. So I don't know if the gate is closed or what. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, I might think maybe they are not making it. I'm not sure what's going on. This is terrible. This is this is terrible. This is very terrible. 
Oh my god. Are they missing this flight? Because, oh my god, this will be the worst day ever. Oh. So, um, so this usually happens. Sometimes you can end up missing a flight. <laughs> they made it. They made it. I can't wait to hear what they went through. They made it! Okay, I'm very happy now. Hello! These are all cool, but if you right there. Do you see me sweating? <laughs> Do you see me? <laughs> I literally ran. I was pulling everything. I had two bags and I had Elena and I had to carry her. Because if she was going to walk, we we're not going to make this flight. So, I am sweating. And yes, please. Thank you. Perfect. So, I'm literally sweating. I was the last one. Really? Yeah. Then they closed. Uh, they took my oh they actually they checked in my their bag mm -hmm. um, and then there was no one behind me so I think they closed after me they were calling my name they said you better be here in two minutes I, was like, <laughs> I also went through my fair share of drama I'm very happy we are all here so we were separated a little bit but and went through a lot of drama and now we are together and we are heading out Washington here we come yes. yeah. <laughs> already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it Somehow we can't miss out So we are towards oh. the end of the plane, so it will take us maybe another 10 minutes just to get off. We don't mind it, because sometimes when you have a baby, it takes so long before you actually have everything together and the baby, you don't want anyone to step on you guys. Or, 
step on the baby because everyone is so focused on just getting out of the plane. So we are glad we are in Washington, Seattle finally after two years, three months away because when we came here last, Elena was just about four months old. So we are glad to be back and just glad to spend time with family here, just catch up, spend time, chill, relax. Go maybe on an adventure, one or two, meet friends, you know. So let's go. <laughs> so that's Elena for you. Very, very social. That was fun. <laughs> so the short flight, I think she did good overall. The eye pressure, the ear pressure was a bit much for her which we understand because even as we could feel it but overall Reina is a trooper as always she's the best travel buddy of all time thank you So we are waiting for Alex and we are not in a hurry, we just landed like maybe 20-30 minutes ago. So excited to be in Washington honestly, oh my god. It's been two years mm -hmm. and three months since the last time we were here. Hey! You! Do not! Do! do not! Go! <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling, it's definitely much much cooler. Yeah. than we are used to. So you can see Elena will, has a big jacket on, which I know Alex will be laughing at. Because no, you see that guy also has a, a hoodie on. Yeah. And because if you look around, everyone has something just to cover up. Yeah. So, it's so exciting. I can't believe I'm here. Why not? Eh? Why not? Because it's been so long. I've been missing it. I've been missing Washington for so many years now. As we were saying, we got our bags, but something we came to discover is when you have a car seat for the baby, it goes under oversized baggage. You don't look for it in the normal area where you get your baggage. So that's a good, um, something good that we've actually, uh, yeah, something good that we've just discovered. So we are outside gate number eight. It's really nice, like how cool it is. I'm, I'm wearing a jumper, me. This is the first time this year I'm wearing a jumper, I think. Maybe I wore a jumper during winter. Is it fall yet, Harper? Actually, today, today is the first day of fall because that fall starts today. <laughs> fall starts today? September 21st. Ah. Yeah, so today is actually the very first day of fall for the calendar. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that's what we're experiencing right now. It's still summer vibes, right? but it's actually fall season. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see, Distractions will get away. This is what we waited for. Torizona Mifika, like in Angelina Pujana Masueta, and Kuja Antarctica. Like in Otakuna Baridi. Kuna bari, kuna jua leo. Yaki been on a good day. Kuna jua. Like we have like two, three, four more weekends. Couple of um, boy hands. Let so, me say hi to our people. Say how are you, Nis? How are you, Nis? Welcome to Seattle 206. For oh, the record, is better than AZ. Summer. Mwah. The curbside Jenny. is for immediate Jenny. loading and unloading only. Look at the car we are getting picked up with. Like one of the best cars in the market right now. So this wow. guy is he's doing well. Very well. We are happy, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, me drive. In Washington, this is how we're rolling. A 
be your chauffeur for the day. Join us next week for the continuation of our trip to Seattle, Washington, as we dive into interesting discussions and have a great time on our way to our new home for the week. We'll take you along as we shop, enjoy the meal of the day, and settle into our new spot. Don't miss out. Africans, when they visit anyone, it's bad behavior going empty-handed. So you have to go carrying something, at least groceries, something. You just don't walk into people's places empty-handed. That's an African culture. Turn on your post notifications and of course, don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. So like, share and subscribe guys and watch out for our next video. Love you. Running out. Time is running out.